Hiya! Welcome to The Freak Show. I'm Disney Angel Demon and this is part 3 of my painting Chibi Pony Adventures Miniature Sea Pony. <laughs> if you haven't already checked out parts 1 and 2, please check the description box below for a link or I'll try to pop one somewhere on the screen here. <laughs> well, let's get painting! So I've already applied a wash and base coat of blue to the mini and painted the mane and tail fin. Now it's time to bring out all the lovely details of the figure. To do so, I'll be using Ash Grey from the Army Painter line of war paints to dry brush over the mane and tail. This may look subtle, but that's what I was going for. Don't knock dry brushing. I know it gets a bad rep, but this is a really simple and effective way to give a polished look to raised details like on the fins. As you can see, I also painted her pearl necklace in Ash Grey and used some Reaper paints and splintered bone to highlight the pearls. Here I'll be mixing together some Caribbean Blue by Scale Color and Citadel Paint in Ice Blue with a little white and a lot of water. We're looking for that same consistency like the sky blue we used in part 1, so about a 2 to 3 ratio water to paint. This should be diluted enough that we can still control the paint, but have it go on semi-translucent so we can gradually build up the color. I'll be using this mixture to gradually add highlights to the body and scales of the sea pony. The subtle addition of green from the Caribbean blue really makes the details in this mini pop. I really loved how detailed the scales are, so I wanted to make sure I drew attention to them. I did so by adding edge highlights to them in a paler version of our highlight color. This works to mimic the iridescent pearl shimmer of real fish scales. Well, my lovely little freaks and geeks, that concludes part 3. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And make sure to stay tuned for part 4, the final installment where I reveal the finished sea pony. Before I go, just a little something for you to ponder over. Are you in the habit of mixing colors in pursuit of that perfect shade, or do you just grab a bottle of green and go with it? It's green, right? How far do you go to reach your vision of that mini you're painting? Leave me a comment below and tell me all about it. I love hearing from you guys. Bye! Are you in the habit of mixing colors in pursuit of that blue?